Hey, 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 guys, Raymond here. So it's Sunday, the 29th of July. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's nice weather again. It's a little bit cloudy, but uh, it's nice weather here in Holland. Um, around the 30 degrees again. Um, but the wind is also uh, playing a part, so it's not very hot. Thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm uh, going uh, to do, of course, the daily Portuguese lesson. And after that, I will go to watch the Formula One. Uh, it will start here in Holland at uh, 10 minutes after 3. So, yeah, I'm curious. Uh, Max Verstappen, he's a Dutch uh, guy in the Formula One. And, well, he's uh, not uh, qualifying uh, very best. Uh, his place is 7, I think. The seventh place. Uh, so we will see uh, what happens. Um, also, the last day of the Tour de France today, and uh, Tom Dumoulin, also a Dutch guy, uh, he's second. And yeah, well, probably he stays second. I don't think uh, in the last uh, race uh, to pa uh, Paris, uh, Paris uh, he will. Uh, beat uh, the yellow jersey, uh, uh, yeah, yellow jersey uh, rider by, well, almost uh, 1 minute and 50 seconds, so he will stay second, so that is, well, what I think, but you never know, of course. Um, let me know what are you doing and uh, what are you going to do today, I'm going uh, after the Formula 1, I'm going uh, downtown, to see uh, Terrace, uh, speak to uh, some friends and enjoy the weather. So let me know what are you going to do today and uh, yeah, I'm sure, serious, uh, I'm curious about it. But for now we're going to do the Portuguese lesson. I hope you are ready, I am. So I say let's start. <laughs> Escultura. Uh, all right. Uh, let me think. Uh, what is this in English? Uh, in Dutch, it is build and uh, sculpture. Yeah, that's the word in English, sculpture. But and that's almost the same as uh, es escultura. Well, sculpture, escultura. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. It's not re really yet the same, but. Uh, I like to think this. Uh, doesn't matter. In Portuguese, it is escultura, and in English, sculpture. So, and in Dutch, build. Museu. Uh, museu uh, in Portuguese, and uh, museum in uh, English, and museum in Dutch. Well, three kinds. Uh, 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 Three ways to say it, but almost the same, of course. Uh, museu. Check. Escultura. Escultura. Uh, that's sculpture, or in Dutch, beeld. Dinosauro. All right. Uh, dinosauro. Uh, dinosaurus. Uh, in English and uh, dinosaurus in Dutch. So almost the same again. Dinosauro. Check. Pintura. Pintura uh, is painting in English and in Dutch schilderij. That's a completely different word. Schilderij in Dutch, uh, painting in English and pintura in uh, Portuguese. Prehistoria. Prehistoria. Uh, prehistoric. Yeah, I think that's the good word for in English, prehistoric. And in Dutch, prehistory. Nice scrabble word again. Prehistoria. Well, if I'm looking at this word and I'm looking in the Dutch words, the only really difference is uh, we end it with an E, you end it with an A. And you put a little, uh, uh, yeah, what is it, thingy between pre and we don't. But that's almost every difference. So, 
prehistoria uh, and we say prehistoric. Pintura, that was a, a painting, uh, or in Dutch, schilderij. Pintura. Pintura. Check. Fossil. All right, uh, if, uh, in English, uh, fossil, and in Dutch, fossil. Fossil. And in Portuguese, fossil. 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 Right. Museu. Museu or museum in English. And in Dutch, museum. Museu. Ooh, let me see. Museu. Probably like this, I think. Museu. 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 Hopefully, it's good. Check. Uh, pre, uh, prehistoric, or in Dutch, prehistory, and in Portuguese, prehistoria. Prehistoria. Prehistoria, right. Pre. Oh, yeah, that's the little thing on the E. Pre. That's my girlfriend always say. You have to uh, say the, the E or something, or the A, with a little thingy on it. Then you do it. Pre. All right. <laughs> Prehistoria. Check. Dinosauru. Dinosauru uh, or uh, dinosaur and in uh, Dutch dinosaurus. Dinosaurus. Dinosaur in English. Dinosaurus in Dutch and dinosauru in Portuguese. Dinosauru. Gino. Dinosauru. Check. And that's an elephant. Fossil. Fossil is a, uh, yeah, well, in English, uh, uh, also fossil. Yeah, don't know any, any other word for it. So, and in Dutch, fossil. That's also a, a name calling in Dutch. If uh, you say uh, to somebody, uh, you are a fossil, uh, that means uh, you are old and you are not uh, going. Uh, with the time. You are stuck in time way back. So that's not a really nice uh, calling name. Onde é o museu? Onde é o museu? Alright. Oh yeah. Onde é is where is. That's true. Alright. In Dutch, waar is het museum? In Portuguese, oh, sorry, not Portuguese, in English, where is the museum? And in Portuguese, onde é o museu? Onde é o museu? Onde é o museu? Onde é o museu? Check. Eu me interesso por pintura. Ok. Eu me interesso por pintura. I think uh, it says... Ik uh, interessei mij for schilderijen in Dutch or in English I am interesting in uh, uh, paintings right the art of painting I see all right uh, let me see uh, how do I do that ik interesseer me voor schilderkunst right in Dutch Ik interesseer me voor schilderkunst. Wow. In English, uh, I am interested in the arts of painting. And in Portuguese, eu me, eu me interesso por pintura. Eu me interesso por pintura. Eu me interesso por pintura. Wow. Check. Oh, all right. This was the lesson already. It was very fast, uh, I think. Uh, let me know how did you do it with uh, the Portuguese lesson and uh, 
uh, let me uh, know, of course, uh, how uh, are you doing in general and what are you going to do today. So uh, give a comment down below. Of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for the new videos. And share this video, of course, with anybody who wants to learn anything. So, for now, I say to you goodbye. Ciao, ciao. Tot ziens. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.